So I have kind of reached a point in the progression of my Project Diablo 2 Holy Grail where I need to start corrupting some items to move my characters forward and make them stronger. Now I have attempted this in a previous community based video where I took everyone's best items from online, they were donated to me to corrupt for some hilarious content, I got the link for that video in the description below. Unfortunately I bricked a lot of very GG items so I kind of want to turn the page on the title of Debrickski and I want to improve some of my best single player items that I've found in the last two months. So I have 30 really nice items that I want to corrupt and put some nice mods just to make my character stronger and we're going to do that in today's video so I do hope you guys enjoy it. Quick reminder for those that don't know I do stream twice a week on Twitch so if you guys enjoy my YouTube content maybe hit me up with a follow on that platform. Link is of course in the description below. Any follows would be very much appreciated. But guys, hope you enjoy this video. Let's jump in. <laughs> so I just want to mention before we jump into the corrupting of these items that in the video linked in the description, I go over the actual ratio or percentage outcomes for corrupting. So the chances of rolling a modifier, adding sockets, or turning into a bricked item, that does vary depending on if it's like a body armor or jewelry. So I did cover all of that. So if you need a little bit of refresher, make sure you rewatch the intro of that video. And then I do also have the Project Diablo 2 wiki linked below as well. So it covers all the different tier one, tier two, or tier three mods for again, jewelry, belts, body armors, weapons, etc. It does change for all of them. So if you guys want a refresher, make sure you hit up those links in videos. But let's just jump into this corruption fest so these are the items that i have here that i'm going to corrupt 30 total or 30 world stone shards so i have everything from girk sanctuary really nice uh 28 all res viper magi to g skull class specific items like ariot's face azerath fg angel a couple different high lords there and then i do have ethereal upped kelpie snare so this is apparently a very very solid item to use on act two mercenary because of splash damage and the slowdown so we're just going to kind of wing it as shaft stop. We'll just start this way, work our way down and hope for the best. I got a good feeling. Let's start off with Gurks here. This is 21 all res, so it's kind of low on the all res scale, but let's corrupt it and see what happens. Single open socket. Not too exciting. 28 all res Viper. Attacker takes damage based on character level. That sucks. Okay. Atma's Whale here. This is a really interesting item. 1 dull skills, 20 FCR, 30 faster hit recovery with 20% magic find and 15 to maximum mana. So, I mean, 3 open sockets in this, 3 um runes, it's better than Chains of Honor. Or you brick it. That sounds like me. Okay, so next up we have our Ethereal Guardian Angel. I love Ethereal stuff on my Mercenary. Okay, that might be the first pretty cool damn corruption. It's an ethereal G angel with a decent maximum res corruption or maximum res rolls, I should say, excuse me. A little bit low on the defense roll, but I rolled indestructible. So I can up this and then use this on a regular character. So that's uh, very cool. That's the first worthy corruption. One open sockets is okay. Damage character level, that's garbage. Ethereal G Angel with indestructible, like that couldn't be any better. So we can puzzle box that. Hopefully get something cool. All right, next up, G Face. Hey, three open socket G Face. Yes, okay, we finally, okay. I can triple, I can triple armor in this for a Zealer or like a Smiter for Uber Tristram, so. Wicked, okay, so two solid corruptions in a row. I'm just gonna drop these bricked items. Okay, next up, Q Hagen's Wisdom. So one dull skills, 20 FCR, 20 faster hit recovery. Not quite as good as Atma's Whale, but maybe we'll put something interesting on it. Ah, 35% lightning res, that's okay. Next up, 48 fire res, Alder's Boots. With 15% mana regeneration, that's okay. This is a two to combat skills, uh, pretty decent defense roll, perfect six life leech stolen for hit, Harriet's face. Let's add a single open socket to it, that's okay. Here we have T-Gods, this is I believe yeah, seven, to, seven lightning absorb T-Gods. 
that I added physical damage reduced by 3%. That'll actually... Yeah, I'm gonna combine... Like, this is literally I'm making, like, my smiter for farming torches. Like, this combination of gear right here. Fizz, DR, T-Gods, Indestructible. We're gonna up this. Hero Guardian Angel. The real Basaga G-Face. Okay, next up, Silk Weaves. Let's see if we can add Magic Find or something. Mana Regeneration, that's okay. 49 Fire Res Alders. Added... 5 All Res. That's kind of cool. Cold Res, Lightning Res. And we made 54 Fire because we added 5 All Res. Those are cool boots. Now, Giant Skull has changed quite a bit from LOD. They added Pierce, um, Enhanced Damage. I mean, it's always had Knockback, Crushing Blow, and Strength, but... Very good for a boson, which I don't have a boson, so that's why we're going to risk it. And we added 3 to maximum fire res and 12% fire res. That's a tier 3 corruption. Okay, trangs, claws. Pierce. Hmm. 12% chance to pierce. I don't know where I would use that. Here I have an Azeroth. That I added life after kill. That's, uh, meh. Okay, so I have two High Lords here, so it'd be really cool to get a nice High Lords corruption for my Smiter or Zealer for Uber Tristram. First one! Ugh. Wrecked it. Second one! Nine to strength. That's okay. I'm like. Building up my Smiter combination of gear here. And then I have an Atma's Scarab here. This is a 60 bonus to attack rating Atma's. Then I added 30%... 30% MF. Where is that on like a Mara's? Okay. Anyways. I don't know why they made me laugh so hard. 30% MF on Atma's Scarab. Okay. Interesting corruption. Now... I kind of want to do the Kelpie there. We'll just save that to the end. This is a really cool shield. Although it has a very high strength requirement. Two Disorcer skills, faster block rate, and then chance to rock fade with a lot of all res. So we'll see if we can put something interesting on Spirit Ward. Two open sockets. That's kind of cool. I don't know what I would put in that. Maybe... Two perfect diamonds, or maybe two hell runes to lock or bring that 185 strength requirement down a little bit. That's a cool potential to use that shield. Okay, here's the big one Ethereal, Shaft Stop. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks, but the Ethereal G Angel, I think it's hard to kind of complain. I have a Snow Clash belt here. Correct that one as well. Got two pair of Mage Fists here. I have yet to be able to add something to Mage Fist that's worthwhile using. 24 to life. That's better than nothing, I guess. Okay, we'll just go up here. Water Walks. It's 57 to life. Correct. Perfect. Tell Rash's Orb. Bricked. Okay, another pair of Silk Weaves. 18 Cold Res, that's kind of meh. Homunculus. Indestructible and Enhanced Defense. That's, that's interesting. That's not really like super desirable. I got 40 Vitality, 13 DR Dungos, so one of the best Verdungos I've ever found. Bites the Dust. Regular G Angel. Increase maximum life 5%. That's actually pretty solid. Okay, Laying of Hands and then the Ethereal Kelpie Snare for the last Corruption. 5 All Res. And this is the one that I really don't want to brick. Ethereal Kelpie Snare. 
with nine faster hit recovery. I don't know. What do you guys think? That was um, quite little interesting small corruption fest. But well, guys, there you have it. That wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For me, honestly, I think the biggest highlight was the Ethereal Guardian Angel Corrupt with the Indestructible mod. I can now up it and use it on my Smiter. Hopefully we can puzzle box it and put some Umruns in it for a little bit more all res. And of course the three open socket G-Face, which I think is a pretty solid combination for a Smiter, even though it's been kind of nerfed a little bit in Project Diablo 2. But let me know in the comment section below what your favorite corruption was. And as always, if you guys could throw a like on this video, share it, and even consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. I post new weekly content and I stream twice a week on Twitch. So a follow on Twitch and a sub on YouTube would be amazing. Other than that, guys, hope you have a fan frickin' tastic day, and I'll catch you on my next video or live stream. Peace out.